Welcome back. It's hard to believe, but school bells will be ringing very soon. We already know the importance of eating a healthy breakfast, but if you want your child to do their best all day long, make sure they get a nutritious lunch as well. Here with advice on the healthy lunch box is regular contrib contributor Dr. Will Clower of Mediterranean Wellness. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. All right, I'm going to be packing my daughter's lunch for the right, first right. time. She's going to be in first grade, so I, I'm just getting into this. Tell me first of all about the lunches that the schools do serve? Well, typically what happens is that our children, when they go off to school and they're in the cafeteria, that they're um, over, they have too many calories, but they're bad calories, so mm. they're overfed and undernourished. Hmm. I took my son recently to his cafeteria, and they were showing us what they were feeding them, right. and they were proud of it. You know, they were showing that they have fries with pizza, and they have fries with their hamburgers, and they have fries with their uh -huh. this and then that, uh -huh. and, the, and then they have one anemic salad so that they can meet the, the minimum USDA guidelines. The uh -huh. problem with all that is that uh, oftentimes school cafeterias are meant to be um, revenue centers, so oh, they have to sell what the children buy, and so they have an entire se separate section huh. called the a la carte section, which does not have to meet standards. So my children would come home, and I would say, what are your friends eating? And they would right. say, oh, slushies and fries. Oh, no. Hence the problem. And so a great study from the University of Michigan showed that children in junior high schools who just eat the cafeteria food mm -hmm. are dramatically more likely to become obese wow. than the children who make their food at home. Huh. And it's not just the overweight and obesity and diabetes that come along with that. If you eat food that, that you make at home, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your academic performance goes up. Wow. Great data showing huh. that if you just feed children regular food, they do better on standardized tests, particularly mathematics. Wow. Remember that, that thing that um, uh, no, no Child Left Behind? Yeah, yeah. And what they wanted was to improve academic performance. Uh -huh. A great solution <laughs> is just to serve them food that, that's real food. Yeah, that's healthy food. Yeah, exactly. The uh, same thing is true, with, by the way, with uh, behavior. Really? Yes. It can change and the food can change the behavior. Absolutely. In Appleton, Wisconsin, they they traded out all the pre-processed foods, yeah. the stuff that you just whip in off a truck and warm up in the microwave, uh -huh. and it's got synthetics and colorants and all of that. Right. When they just replace that with food that people make, mm -hmm. normal uh, onion, carrot, potato, like that. Right. Then incidents of bad behavior drop. Wow. So they behave better. They're better academically, huh. and obesity drops. Isn't that amazing? It's a real simple solution. Wow. Well, I know I even dealt with that with my daughter with breakfast. She never wanted to eat breakfast. Once I finally got her to eat, she was enjoying school more, and I, I knew <laughs> yeah. it was going to happen. Exactly. She didn't believe me, exactly. but she did fess up. She said, Mom, you were right. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about packing the lunch. Okay. You know, assuming that we were going to try and get as healthy as we can. Right. What, what do we do? Where do we start? Well, you know, one of the, the staples for people are meats. And you can get uh, the, the bologna and the different uh, deli meats right. and things. But one of the concerns with that is salt mm -hmm. and nitrates okay. and hormones in those, those types of meats. Any so, kind of deli meat's going to have a lot more of those than just a, what, a fresh meat? Yeah, exactly, you, you... exactly. And so there's like three different categories. One of them is the one that's in that little laminate thing. You right. know, you go to the store and yes. there's all the laminated pork products yes, over there. Yes. with the, All of that, right? <laughs> so those are more likely to have nitrates and preservatives and hormones, you have to read the label, Okay. than, than others. Wow. Now, if you're in the deli section okay. and you have that thing of turkey, yeah. they're less likely to have that. Huh. The best solution okay. is to take your things from home, take okay. your meats from home. So if you did little uh, chicken pieces, uh -huh. then you just chop those like up. Like grilled chicken exactly. or a, a turkey breast. Uh, exactly. Okay. Those are the best because me and you, we don't put... BHA in our food. I don't sprinkle in nitrates. Okay, because it know? doesn't have to sit there for exactly. a week or last exactly. so long. Okay, exactly. Okay. So when really, take leftovers. I mean, that's probably the best thing. Beautiful, beautiful. But well, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yeah. I know that I. You can put good food in front of children. Yeah. But you can't necessarily make them eat it. The okay. way to do that yes. is to make sure you enroll them in the process. Have conversations with your kids hmm. about about good foods and what's not good foods. Okay. And get them to own their own choices. Hmm. I got uh, my kids to eat bell peppers by putting, slicing up a red one, an orange one, and a yellow one, and saying, pick one, that's oh. what you can have. And then when they tasted it, 
they were like, oh, I like this one. I'll yeah. have this one. Now they love them. They felt like they had a choice in the matter. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Neat. neat. Okay. So um, you brought some healthy foods here. These sure. Look like sure. Good examples. The the key here is to go small for your children. Okay. If you uh, if you have little packets, these are cranberries. Oh, love cute. them. If you, I've only seen raisins in those. I never I know. knew they make the cranberries in the These boxes. These are awesome, exactly. Yeah. And and they're small and they'll eat them. The little uh, carrots are great because they yeah. go right in any sort of dip or peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter is like a universal. It's like blood type <laughs> O. You know, it goes with everything. And uh, those are great for that. But if you serve them an apple like this, it comes at them like their head. They won't yeah, eat it. Good the point. solution is to just cut this up because if you cut this up, and make it in little nuggets, uh -huh. whether it's it an looks more appetizing apple. Yeah, somehow. and they will eat that, and their friends will eat it, and they'll love it. Yeah, or with peanut butter, like you said. Exactly. Dip it in the peanut butter. So any any type of small fruit. Okay. Or nuts. Oh, that's a great one. And again, there are things that you can do where you can get the apples and the the uh, grapes or little mm. ap apricots, whatever it is, yeah. and let them choose the one that they like best, uh -huh. then they'll eat it when they take it to school, okay, when so you're not looking. Have them help pack the lunch. Don't exactly. just blindside them, surprise them. <laughs> no, exactly right. And when they own their own choices, they're uh -huh. more likely to eat those when they're out of your sight. Can you put a little treat in for the end or forget it because that's all they'll eat? Oh, no, absolutely, okay. absolutely. And give them the uh, the choice of what that is, whether it's a little yogurt or um, uh, some sort of little piece of chocolate, okay, would yeah. be excellent. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, good deal. Thank you so much, Will. Absolutely. <laughs> and again, Dr. Will Clower is a regular contributor here on Pittsburgh Today Live.